Hey folks, just wanted to put a little video out here about some warnings to folks that are just getting into boxing or uh, or for young boxers in general, specifically for young boxers, but everybody will do well to uh, think about what I'm gonna tell you uh, first thing I want to talk about is being careful what you put online being careful what you show everyone else I know I've uh, ranted on that before uh, but I want to warn you young guys again uh, what many of you don't realize is, is that when you're watching anything that any of these boxers put out, unless they're professional, uh, well, even if just any good boxers are putting out, uh, or, or just average boxers, that, that really makes no difference, but Big thing I'm seeing, and I've just recently seen two situations uh, where people knew who they were going up against in tournaments. Uh, one of them was a national qualifier uh, for the Olympics in the USA. Uh, so what happened in these two situations that just I'm aware of, but it happens constantly, and nobody's warning anybody any longer. Uh, back when we just had uh, eight millimeter film cameras, that we had these things that looked like uh, kind of like the guns on Star Trek, if you ever watched that. But we had these little eight millimeter cameras, but hardly anybody had one because they were very expensive. And they would not let these things in the gyms. Uh, everything you've seen inside a gym, as far as these old reels go, is what trainers, managers, and promoters wanted you to see. Uh, they were not given opening up the the front door for us to see all their wares. Uh, you just don't do that. And here recently there's been two guys that have put their matches up online and it's allotted their opponents to sit there and look at exactly what they do. And this is more so professionals get this, but younger people need to get it too. Because people are going to do the same thing. They're going to look at what you're doing and they're going to come up uh, with an offense to get around your defense and they're going to come up with a, a defensive scheme to stop whatever your offensive is. Uh, so unless you're just switching everything up, going from style to style, thing to thing, uh, which is crazy uh, from match to match or tournament to tournament uh, you need to keep everything close to your vest you don't need to be showing everything uh, two really good quality amateur boxers got beat I happen to believe uh, with these two guys that they were messed over in judging some but these guys were watched by their opponents, and their opponents behaved accordingly. So be careful with that. You don't want to sit and put out everything you got for somebody to sit and do a film or a video study to figure out how to beat you. That's crazy. Second thing that I want to talk to you about 
is, yeah, if you want to show some stuff, show a little bit of sparring. Uh, because you're not, and selectively show what you want to show. Uh, we, we don't even show a lot of that. But I show Joe getting beat up and manhandled. That's, you know, if you see that and that's what you're going off of, uh, and you come up against him, uh, then you're not going to know what to expect because we we will have adjusted whatever was going on. And there's been situations where uh, maybe you're in sparring and you gas out and somebody gets gets on you towards the end or something. Uh, it's, I like to show these things, but showing your, your tournament work is nuts. Uh, as a matter of fact, you want to conceal these things as much as possible. Uh, the less people, the less telephones sitting in there pointing in at you, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Uh, so I would just show sparring, and that's what we do. And we're very selective about that. The other thing is showing uh, all the all the drills you do, all the uh, calisthenics or things like that just uh, don't give away the whole shooting match conceal what you do hide try to hide some of your weaknesses uh, hide your weaknesses most importantly hide your offensive strengths because you don't want people to uh, if you if you've got a core and you're doing all these tremendous parallel bar exercises and you've you've got a core that is just you couldn't shoot a 30 out six through uh you don't want to parade that around because the guy's going to say hey a decent trainer's going to be looking and they're going to say don't go after this guy's midsection let's not necessarily go on his body as hard, and let's go let's uh, go on his chin. You know, let's aim here instead of hit down here where his strength is. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you about is weightlifting in boxing. Now, for a lot of people that watch us, you'll say, well, we just saw Joe two or three weeks ago uh, running through what you're saying is one of four or five sets of dumbbell work that Joe does. And you did. Uh, but let me spell this out for you. We, we, it's, it's not something that we're doing every other day with the rest day. Uh, we're not working on just building up muscle. Uh, we're working on muscle strengthening, but not muscle uh, build up. It will slow you down tremendously. And young boxers, you don't want to do it. Trust me. Um, it, shut, it slows down. You're working on heavy muscle fibers. And when, when you are building heavy muscle fiber, the quick muscle fiber, the twitch, uh, is going to diminish and go away. And you don't want that. You need your speed. You need your accuracy. And you don't want that. And living proof of that was Anthony Joshua. Uh, I, I like him, but he just lifts too much weight. And you can't undo that, unfortunately. It's too late for him to go and uh, try to uh, work on the lighter muscle tissue that has, that has the speed and the uh, agility to it. Uh, it's just too late. These things take lifetimes to develop. And uh, so you don't want to, uh, and the set, the, what, what we showed you, I would suggest that uh, 
Dumbbell work is fine. It's great. We, we do it, and we're going to continue to do it. But uh, generally, uh, we're, we're, we're going with fast motions, fast motion. So if uh, Joe had two dumbbells up, and he's doing uh, military presses. We, it, he's up and down in real quick movements, real quick motions. Uh, we're not doing th slow and monotical uh, weightlifting with that. Uh, same thing if you're working with uh, kettlebells. You don't want to do slow and monotonous stuff. You want to build the muscle, but you don't want to uh, start tearing down and building the mass uh, so much that you slow down your, the, the quickness. So, and there's different types and methods to use, but really what you need to be doing, which we do a lot of, but we don't, we don't really show uh, much or any of, is pushing and pulling exercises. Well, we've shown a little bit, but uh, need to get you a good set of straps and be pulling yourself and then doing push-ups, and then pulling, and then push, push-pull method, uh, working with your own body weight, uh, doing high repetitions is the way to go, so if you younger guys, you're in there, and you're doing your, uh, seeing how quick you can advance the max on your bench pressing, or your squats, I just wouldn't do that, and there's a lot of debate on the doing squats and it increasing your testosterone level, which will just benefit you every which way around in any sport, including boxing. Uh, there's other ways to achieve that. Uh, one thing we do is uh, we, uh, when Joe do, does road work two to three times a week, uh, he does sprints, so there's sprints incorporating with a, a slower paced uh, jogging run. Uh, but sprinting will increase that, those levels as well. Uh, so I would just suggest to stay away from uh, even heavy squatting, uh, even with the benefits that it, that it does have. I wouldn't do it. You seen Mike Tyson, and this is something that you young boxers get confused about. I've seen a lot of online arguments going on with a lot of folks. Mike Tyson did not lift heavy weights, do squats, uh, get on these squatting machines when he was in his prime. Never, 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 ever. It, Right before he fought Lennox Lewis and lost to Lennox Lewis, but of course Mike Tyson was out of his prime. Uh, but Mike Tyson started doing uh, squats and getting on these squat machines and doing bench press work, uh, heavy curls and all sorts of things like that. And it hurt him. It did not help him. So... Uh, did nothing but help slow him down. Um, so those are just a few little, little things I wanted to address with some people. Be careful what you choose to share online in your, uh, as far as matches, as far as uh, even sparring, uh, as far as uh, your workout routine and things like that. You don't want to, there are channels where the door is completely open and they are showing people and giving people advice on what to do. But you as a young boxer should never ever uh, open the door. And if you're training people for competition, you should never open the door and just totally publicize everything that you do to benefit your boxers to everybody else, and especially their opponents. Uh, nothing could be more ignorant.
uh, backwards or pathetic than doing that. And we're seeing a lot of that. So uh, we got a lot of people that we uh, that have warned us and told us don't fall into that. Uh, I'd love nothing more than just to weekly set Joe up with a big fella and film him putting people on their cans uh, or video that you call it today. We used to used to be film in my day. Uh, but you you, you got to hold yourself back and you have to uh, we're in an online world so that's very difficult to do. Another thing I want to say is, you young boxers, share and give your opinions. Uh, if you believe that your stand in the world, your belief in God, your belief in right, uh, your belief in, in good ethical things, uh, will get you attacked. That's probably when you, when you, when you start being afraid to to let people know where you're coming from, is probably when you need to let people know where you're coming from. So I would tell all the young boxers because we out, as and any young people in the world, let your opinions be known because all this craziness and all this madness. And all this insanity that you are seeing, that is not the majority. You would be in the majority. You are the majority. So never be afraid to stand up and be vocal on things that you inherently know in your heart are right and good, uh, ethical and moral. Uh, go ahead and spill those things out. Uh, because the minute you get you, you start getting afraid or you start, should I say that? What are people going to think? Is maybe when you do need to be saying it. So those are a few things I just wanted to say to specifically to young people. Uh, us older people, we're set in our ways. We're, most of us are dead and done with which way we're going to go and how we are. But you young people, uh, just try to be kind and gentle with one another. Uh, and But be firm with one another. And never be afraid to show that part of you. In other words, young boxers, quit worrying about showing you uh, a stoppage where you've won in this tournament over here. And maybe start talking about uh, maybe your belief in God or maybe your uh, displeasure with a lot of the craziness that you see in this world and start promoting those things. And if you do, that's going to come back to benefit you. Not, not doing the show-off stuff, not showing that, but showing the important stuff It'll come back to bless you in many, many ways. Because I'm going to tell you something. These boxing promoters, uh, these big trainers, uh, everybody wants to see a good guy. And even the media corporations that would hate you would love you to be on their networks because uh, even if they hate you, and you got to keep in mind something's not clicking correct with them upstairs anyway, they will put you in a position to make money, move up, better yourself, uh, be more productive, uh, trying to work against you. So in other words, they'll put you on, give you airtime, promote you freely uh, to raise cane about you, which will only get the people to loving you more. So 
just some some things from an old man that I felt the need to go into and say. And uh, blessings, God bless everybody. Uh, be safe in this world today. Steer clear of the trouble as much as you can. Uh, and be safe. And uh, God bless you.